<clears throat> oh my goodness, you've missed everything I've said. Well, we're good now. Oh, what a surprise! It's Greasy Boy! I can't believe they just played him out naked. Ah! What? Okay, opponent learned a lesson about never playing Greasy Boy naked. Okay. Okay. Oh, here comes the aggro. Just like we planned for. We got that elite guard mage. Although this hand is really slow. Oh no. Oh boy, that's a lot of Dama. Wrath would be nice. Would they exile the land, I guess, since they can't play it? Didn't want to draw that anyway. When Rubber of the Rich attacks, your opponent scries one. How nice. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, at least we gained some life. Draw some card. Oh no, but we definitely don't block. All right, deck. I'm gonna I'm gonna need some uh, some wrath. Oh no. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just dead. The guard mage didn't help. Sad. <clears throat> oh, guess what I'm guess what I'm having for din din. Some kimchi, not mac and kimchi. I'm gonna have that for lunch one day. But I made some like, but KBBQ beef, and then some kimchi. Pretty good. No blue. Unfortunately, I think that means we have to mulligan. Eh. Worse, but 
good enough to not go to five. No white, it's awkward, so definitely was going to put back one of the double white spells, but just wasn't sure which one. Oh, there's a white. Although, I don't think depopulate's gonna be very good against this deck. Depopulate. Hmm. Will Aruth live? You can do it, Aruth. Eggs all those cards. Aw, she couldn't do it. Hmm. I know you, you would probably, well, I'm going to play Yasharn, but there could be an argument for Palook. Just because if we don't play Yasharn, we miss a land drop this turn, which I think is important to hit. Oh no, good thing we didn't play Palook. I mean, we could still play Palook. I think I'm just going to play Bridge, though. Do I want to play around Sensor? Probably. We might end up cycling this Raffine's Tower later anyway. <clears throat> Could be another Dovin's Veto, too. Nope. Or just a March. Teferi. Wow, not tucking the bridge. Ooh, oh man. Actually not great with rest in peace in play. It's sad. Definitely don't want to play out another creature here because I assume we're getting wrathed. <clears throat> Not even sure if I want to play the land. I think I'm just going to play fires and pass. Next turn we can cycle and put Yorion in hand. Looks like we're not getting Wrathed. But will Narset find a Wrath? Nope, just Thoughtseize. Not my Thoughtseize! Mm. Well, as much as I like to get value by killing their planeswalkers, 
Kinda looks like they're just dead. Oh. Never mind. <sighs> I did that because I want to go face with at least one of these. I really want to go face with both and just put them to three. But... I don't think we can leave Teferi alive, sadly. Alright. There was a reason to not play the second fires, but I don't remember what it was. So, maybe you can tell me when you watch this. <clears throat> Or maybe you were supposed to play the second fires? Now I forget. It's a lot of land. I'm gonna get settled. That would be my guess. Ah, oh, no, just wandered. The wanderer. I am going to play Yorion because we get to draw a card. Kind of over committing, but I think it's fine. I'm going to add a stop here in case we draw an instant. Cycle that. We did not draw an instant. Instead, we drew a third fires. Nice. Yep, gotta take the Clarion, or else you're dead. Oh, I guess you're dead anyway, because Thoughtseize deals you two. Ooh. <sighs> nice. Ooh, 1080. Do you ever play that game? It's for like the Super, not Super Nintendo, Nintendo Cube, GameCube. 1080 SSX tricky snowboarding. No! Well, this card really only has one card that's good against Hirokichi. But I don't really want to mulligan a fine hand. Oh, I just accidentally clicked. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did... 
now I have to mulligan this. This hand is definitely not keepable. I hate everything. Uh, <laughs> why? Why did I accidentally keep mull click mulligan on that first hand? Mm. This is the worst day ever. Ay ay ay. Ay well, you know, if we ever get to turn five Which doesn't seem likely, but you never know. Honestly, his draw looks pretty weak to or his or her. Hiro Kichi. I don't know. I assumed it's a male name, but I'm not actually sure. Um, unfortunately, we didn't draw Wrath. I don't think we can play this, so we die. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, so we have to hold up Tyrant Scorn. In fact, we probably play Fey of Wishes to block as well. Well, no, because it doesn't get to block. The Dread Horde Archer is just... Oh, uh, actually, we could kill Arcanist. Yeah. I guess we'll do it in upkeep. That'll do it. The first hand would have been, I mean, it wouldn't have been great, but like the exile at least would have worked because the protection spell they had was indestructible. Although I guess that means a wrath wouldn't have worked because they would have gotten to keep two creatures. This is some weird mana we've got going on, but it does let us play Valky on two and probably this on four. So I keep, I keep. Can also cast Ass Trophy. Use the Schwartz. Sorry, Schwartz. The Schwartz followed. Show me what you've got. Uh, 
Uh, don't have white. We could consume just this, but it's not great. Probably want to wait until they play the second one. Uh, in which case, <clears throat> Yorion can probably go into hand this turn. Stupid Valky giving us priority. Oh, interesting. They didn't want to play the second one. So, if we block, they're not just going to run the greasy boy out second main, right? That would be dumb. <clears throat> so I guess no blocks. It's only two damage. It's fine. Oh, stupid Valky. Sorry, I'm like eating, so I keep looking away for a sec. I'm almost done though. Next next game I'm gonna have full attention on the game. Bug game mill. Nothing important. Mm, it's not going to be useful. Yeah, I think I will consume this turn. That'll exile the graveyard next turn, which will be nice. Fine, I was gonna die anyway. Oh, this also kills the treasure token, which is nice. Treasure tokens. Oh my goodness, triggers. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Oh, looks like we get to exile the graveyard. That's nice. Hmm. Do we want to get a four drop? Guard mage. Oh yeah, let's just get Palook. Palook's great. Just hold up the fight all game. Fight that grease monkey. Sorry, grease rat. Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Well, they didn't just slam it. Nice. I guess, have they played a land yet? If they hit land plus grease, it might be bad. Oh, there's land. No, okay, we fine. We good. <gasps> oh no. Alright, well next turn we have to hold up ass trophy. Or we can just hold up this, like it's the same thing. I guess this is safer in case they have like a kill spell for Palook. Oh no. 
I guess we're not going to get to hold up ass trophy. Gotta do it the Paluk way. After last game, I learned that we actually have to set the stop. I was telling Melissa about that, and she was like, Yeah, they really should have given you a stop when Grease Fang is on the battlefield. Because they did that for Legion War Boss. Or with the, you know, that goblin that like makes a goblin at the beginning of combat. Um, hmm. Obviously playing Yorion here so he can block the angels if they get Parhelion. I am going to blink Valky just so I can see their hand. And obviously Paluk blink to get the extra counter. Oh, their hand is pretty garbage. Oh, right. Maybe that's not actually garbage. Fortunately, we have Yorion out, though, so we can block one of the angels. Oh, unless they just crew... No, 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 this doesn't have haste. We fine, we fine. Why are they touching this? Like, oh, does that stop my Parhelion from coming back? Enigmatic. At the beginning of opponent's combat step, if Parhelion would be put onto the battlefield, instead exile it. It's a very, it's a very niche four-mana enchantment, but, uh, you know, we play it. <clears throat> Block an angel. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're rereading it and they're like, oh, if Parhelion would be put on the battlefield, you only create one angel instead. That's what it says. Yeah. That's what this card does. Hmm, <clears throat> <clears throat> fires is interesting. <laughs> Um, oh, I was going to do lifelink, but actually I think battle is just better. 
Battle deals four to everything that kills all their stuff and none of our stuff. Uh, is there any way we die? I guess we die if they find another Grease Fang. If we do Lifelink, can we live through that? <clears throat> Lifelink would gain us 10 life to 18. Nah, we wouldn't live. I think we just have to play assuming they don't get another Grease Fang. In which case, I like this. Or no, no sorry, obviously do this first. I guess technically we, yeah, there's no reason to attack here because we'll just have lethal next turn anyway. And if we hold back, we don't die to another Grease Fang. Oh, okay. So we can't attack anyway. They, they, they forced us to make the correct decision. <laughs> uh, no attacks. Get Dream Trolley. Four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Got exactly lethal. Exact seas. Everybody loves exaxes. Uh oh, we don't have exaxes anymore. Well, no, we can rip that apart or just make them sacrifice it. Let her rip Beyblades. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm, girl. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Great. I mean, if I did the math correctly, we're not dead, but I don't think we're in a good spot. I think we have to chump. Well, no, no, that's not true. What, this isn't bad at all. We take five from the Parhelion, we block both angels. Yeah, go to combat. Sure. I guess this does mean they're not, they are not dead next turn, which is unfortunate. We don't even take five. We take like two because Dream Trawler gains us three. Yep. All right, is there another Parhelion in the, gra in the graveyard? Yes, okay, so we gotta deal with this Grease Fang. Uh, which we can't do by killing it because they have can't stay away in their graveyard. <clears throat> so I guess, can we kill them? Question mark? Kinda looks like no, which is unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, again, like, I don't think we're dead. Like, we attack with Dream Trolley. They could block with the boat. Oh, let's make them sack an artifact before we attack. Yeah, then, then they can't block with the boat. Target player sacrifices a artifact.
Oh, wait, they're at nine? Oh, right, because they have the shock. Can I get rid of this angel? I could have. No, it would have involved casting three spells, which we can't really do. Um, They are forced to chomp, which is nice. But if we have no blockers, do we die? We go to 11. We have Nivy though. So I think we can afford to attack both here. Force the chump. I guess if I was really worried, I could have given Yori on lifelink, but I don't think we need that. Because Niv Mizzet will block the Parhelion, will take f eight. Yeah, we can also just cast Bridge here. Because why not? Hmm. Not the greatest hit, Niv. I was hoping for, like, a removal or something. Now we do die to a removal spell on Niv. This is legendary, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, wait, can they get like another one back and just return two vehicles? I'm sure I probably played this wrong. Like, we should have won by now, it feels like. Oh, it's a little cold. I should close my windows. Also putting on some hand moisturizer. Like you always tell me to do. <clears throat> Oh, they're thinking. They be thinking. Thinking, thinking, I've been thinking. What on earth have you been drinking? Thinking, thinking. That's okay. We took, we thought a lot on our turn too. So they have a lot to consider as well. Don't mind opponent being in the tank here. Yep, they need a blood token to try to find an answer. That puts us to 10, which is still fine. We only take 8. Yep, 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 yep. You already had one of those in the yard. That doesn't matter. This is what matters, the card you drew. Although, I don't think they play removal that can hit Miv Nivy. Don't they, like, only play Fatal Push? Actually, do they even play any removal? Nothing to be worried about here. I guess we're worried that they have two more Voldaren Epicures in hand. But that's impossible because there's already two in the bin. Or is there a three in the bin? One, two, three. Yeah, they can't have any more of these. Yep, that's fine. Crew four, we block it. We block it. Oh, actually it's better to block an angel because this goes back to hand. The angels will be here to block. That does put us to one, but I already checked their graveyard. Oh no, they could have they could have a can't stay away in hand, which could reanimate one of the epicures. So I am gonna block the five and block this. So we go to two. That way we don't die to reanimate one of these guys.
Now we do... No, we're fine, right? Yeah. We just kill this and attack all. They can only block one, two, they take five. What you thinking about? <laughs> okay, you're very dead. You're very dead. Yay! Yay! Interesting to interested to hear if of the misplays I made in that game. Miss plays. Were there any miss plays? Uh, oh, I was going to close the windows because it's a bit Samui, 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 Samu, Mu, Mui, Samui. It's a bit cold. Ah, <laughs> got too much stuff on my desk again. I don't know what Wally World is doing on my desk. It shouldn't be there. Oh, it's Dixie. Oh, uh, this hand is so slow. Do you keep hands like this? I mean, I'm inclined to say yes. Like, if one of these was a Wrath, I would say definitely keep it. But this kind of does nothing. This doesn't really bring us back from being behind. It is good mana, though. Also, this kind of does nothing. No, I'm going to mulligan. This might be wrong. Let me make sure I actually actually click the mulligan button. <gasps> oh, oh, look who it is. Uh, we already have a, a lot of early games, so I'm going to put that back, I think. Denny boy, Yugi boy. Problem with two drops is it's basically impossible to play two drops on turn two in this deck. Honestly, I might just play Nightmare. Or wait, do I not have black? Oh, I'm a dum-dum. Guess we're playing Denik. Wow. Bony G without playing the Stomp first. What the heck is that all about? Now, I assume he's just going to eat a lightning strike, but at least that's a lightning strike that isn't going to our face. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, man? Oh, oh I, I know what you're saying. I, I know what you're saying. Luflunk. Oh, wow. He is not going to eat a lightning strike. He's going to trade with a Roberto. Oh, 
Oh, that was a timely black source. Uh, no, we, we need to get rid of this, this man. This man needs to go. His axe has been terrorizing our village for centuries. We must... Oh, what's that phrase? We must root him out. Shut him out. Destroy him! Cast him into the fires of Mount Doom! Ouch. Ouch. Oh no. Uh, well, this is kind of bad. Because, I don't know if you noticed, but we don't have two white. I guess, Danik, this 3-2 blocks a bony G reasonably well, but... I don't know where we're going from there, since they have a ramen up ruins in play, and we're gonna go to two. Actually, no, we're just dead this turn. Maybe they don't see it. Maybe they don't see it. Look, look with your special eyes. My brand! They, they saw it. Sad. Again, again, go again. You know, I think based on how that game played out, cards like Denik aren't really going to help us against the red aggro. I think we just need to play like more Clarions if we're expecting more aggro decks like that. They took enigmatic no no Oh, good thing I have this extra fire oh, I remember why you didn't want me to play the second fires now. It was because we were playing against a Croxa deck. I don't think that was relevant in the other game where I didn't play the second fires though. Hmm. I forget. Uh, I don't think I want to clarion that one dude. I'm just gonna search for Descanta. Paluk, Paluk, Paluk is on fire. There we go. That's good enough for me. I'll take a twofer. Now you might be saying, but Chris, if we wait one turn, we could get a threefer. And I'm saying, we're playing against Rakdos, so we want to keep our life total high in case they have an Obnixilis. So, I don't really want to take 5 damage here. 
that's my reasoning. And don't worry, I'll remember to play the fires first. <gasps> no! Oh wait, that's fine, we can just play Palook from the graveyard. Oh, they didn't even take Palook. Mm, I wouldn't mind another land, but by filling up our graveyard, we get closer to fill it, flipping cert. Oh, we're already flipping it. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I could put Yorion into hand, but I think I want to give myself the option to activate as Kanta if we don't have to fight on their turn. So, yeah. I didn't forget. Also, does this leave up double fight? Black green no we don't have enough black and green can only fight once should have grabbed a black or a green with the fetch what the is this a grease fang deck oh my goodness oh my goodness i gotta put a stop on their main phase not like this Nice. Now I get to activate his Kanta. All right, you know, not the. <laughs> Go low, the bro low. Yes. 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 Taxis. Fatal push. Sad. Uh, okay, so now what? If I had one more mana, we could get the Scarab God and steal the Kroxa. Which actually is another reason to continue not putting Yorion into hand. <laughs> Unless we are sacking fires. Like, we could get Nevi. And probably find a three mana spell. Or a two mana. Well, it's not that likely. But with no cards in hand, there's no real reason to keep fires anyway. All right, I'll put Yorion in hand and I'll grab Nivi. Sacrifice to refill. All right, Nivi, we need a big one. Oh, you delivered. 
Ah, oh, Nivy delivers. Uh, Scarab God or Tyrant Scorn? Scarab God. I think Scarab God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Opponent knows the whole hand, too. Like, oh, he's got a nice grip. My grip was too nice. I can't stand looking at that grip. I feel like we've played this guy before. Budori? Is he a Grease Fang player? I feel like he's a Grease Fang player. Or maybe he was a Winota player? What do you think he's playing now? Where are you now, Budori? Your deck got banned, but you're still here. What are you doing with your life? I'm playing food. I found this trail of crumbs, I followed it all my life, I found the food to eat, my name's Bedori, I'm snacking on this food, I'm following this trail. Dude, did you just sacrifice your food instead of eat it? That's messed up. That's messed up. Who does that? I I can't I can't believe this savage. I was I I just I had this this vision of how Budori was such a good guy you know going to see his grandma found some crumbs gingerbread house and then this that took a turn for that took a dark turn Oh no. Oh, oh. N oh, sorry. I, I, sorry, I'm like here in the tank, like, oh, what am I gonna do? Obviously, I can just sack this for Yasharn, which is like the best card against their deck. Yasharn, please. And you might be saying, But, but Bidori has two fatal pushers in their hand. How is uh, Yashar just gonna die? They can just sack their treasure and kill Yashar. And I say, Read that second line on Yashar. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Sharn's got our back. Um, so we could trade our Yasharn for a Mayhem Devil and a Fatal Push. Which I don't hate. Cause like they can't they actually can kill Yasharn anyway, right? They play Corvald, they sack anything, and then they Fatal Push. So I think I am fine with this trade. Yep. Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. Appa, yip, yip. Dang, 
Those are some bad draws. None of them are even cycling lands. Uh... So we could play Dream Trolley. Like, we could just play this as a Dream Trolley, because obviously the effect doesn't do anything. Which I think I like. And we probably depopulate as well. For Unfortunately, they get to draw a card, but they would have gotten to draw a card if it was the four or greater one, too. I don't know. I wonder if you don't like this play. I'm like, ah, oh, you're not getting your value off of Battle of Frost and Fire. And I say, the value is the dream trolley we made along the way. And we got all these lands, the pitch to the dream trolley. I, I think it's going to be fun. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 it was fine. Everything turned out all right. Man. But everything didn't turn out all right for Budori, did it? I'm telling you, it... You gotta be careful when, you know, you're just, you're hanging out in the woods, you find some food, you know, I mean, I can understand not eating it, like it might be dirty, but don't just sacrifice it to deadly a deadly dispute i i think that's where all his bad luck came from like that was perfectly good food oh jeez that just i'm going to have nightmares about that I can't, can't get over it. Oh, my goodness. D and did you see those those two kids on the the Trail of Crumbs art? They they were probably there when that guy died because of the food. Those poor kids. All right, what do we what do we got? New game. Let's try to forget about Budori. Oh, it's Ashiok, my favorite, my favorite. Oh, another hand with like all the basics in the world. Can't even cast this. But we can cast this. Fine. Fine. Oh, is this the guy? Oh, is this the guy? Oh. <gasps> no, it's white. Was he playing white? Remember the the guy with like the blue No, that was just straight up blue black. I think. Let's find out. Cuz remember the guy who was playing like that really controlly deck and we ended up milling out and I wanted to play against him again? Man, this is the worst turn to do this, because on turn four they have... Oh, that wasn't one of the ones I was thinking of, but I was thinking uh, Memory Deluge. Like, you don't want the control deck to have mana open. You want to ca You want to play... You want them to have to counter something on turn four, because then they can't cast their draw spell. Although this is nice. They don't know about Nivy. Um, or maybe we just battle. Battle kills a shark and Narset. Like, I don't want to overdraw with Nivy here. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I think I can battle first. Mm. What's going on? How did this fatal push get in here? Do they like discard a card? Oh, it was the search trigger. Ah, oh, they had another Narset. No. Wait, did their first Narset whiff? Oh my goodness. Actually, we don't need most of these. Tyrant Scorn is tempting. Like, it'll say. Actually, I think I do want to keep the Scorn. Because we can, like, bounce Niv Mizzy back to hand. Oh, frick. Except I have to shuffle. Mm. I don't have to shuffle, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Fine, I'll just get this Yorion countered. Get that mystical dispute out of there. Don't have to worry about it next turn. Hmm, actually, I just realized um, by keeping the scorn on top, uh, Niv Mizzet will just hit it, which is nice. Assuming he resolves, which seems relatively likely, like they haven't revealed any counter spells off of Narset. Blue, wait, what's this? Black, blue, yep, that's good. Oh no, this triggered. Draw two cards, then discard a card. Ah, that is actually a downside. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks, Battle of Frost and Fire. You're the worst. Yeah, see, this is why I wanted to keep the Tyrant Scorn on top. Now we get to do Nivy again. We're gonna do it again. You go back, Jack. Do it again. He's going round and round. He goes back, Jack. Do it again. Nev Mizzy. Whoa, shocking. Turn target creature to its owner's hand. I choose you. I mean, yeah, let's go again. This turn we can play around Mystical. Nice. Nice! Don't think we want... Ooh, we can actually cast Cloth of Clockus here. I was like, ah, oh, what are we going to discard? We're not going to have to discard anything. Clockus, Clockus. Wow, that was a expensive meaty boy. Uh, let's take the veto. How are we gonna beat these shark typhoons, eh? Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have a... Oh, we have a Yorion and a Nivy in the yard? I'm gonna play this freaking Scarab God. Love it. I love it. He's the best around no one's ever gonna keep him down he's got the nivy for card draw 
The Yorion for protection is the best scarab god. No one's ever gonna keep him down. Alright, Nivi, just a small... No, too big! Too much! Too... too much! Too much! Not enough! Too much! Not enough! Yes, land, please. I don't need more spells. Alright. I think that's a good one to call it on. Hopefully you enjoyed. Good night. Meow. Meow. Night, Oyasumi.